A very good afternoon to one and all present here. I am Dr. V. M. Mudidhan of Savita Dental College, second year BDS, and uh, my topic is on and my topic is on preparation of a mouthwash using a central Asia based extract used assisted by silver nanoparticle. Before starting this topic, uh, I just want to say one thing. Uh, whenever we whenever we look at the dark sky with the stars in it, it's very beautiful, right? But wow. It's not that. But uh, as compared to the dark sky, the aurora borealis is much more beautiful. In such a way that combining two departments in the field of medicine together will give us a good result. In such a way, I, it is an attempt, a preliminary attempt by me for combining nano medicine in the field of uh, forensic science. Uh, sorry for this inconvenience phase. Yes. And uh, let's go on to the topic. Uh, introduction about the plant. The plant of my interest is on Central Asiatica, also known as the Valarakira in Tamil, and it is cultivated and used in a day to day food in the South Indian population. It is known for relieving the muscular spasm and uh, acts as a good anti inflammatory agent in the field of Ayurvedic medicine. Also, it has a great pungency due to the presence of a chemical alkaloid present in this plant known as the titerpene. Also, it is used in the, the, the treatment of diseases like cancer, inflammation, diabetes, obesity, hyperoxidity, etc. And it is known that Valari, that is the central Asiatica, helps in the increase in memory power as it helps for the nourishment of the neurons. Also, studies show that the methanolic root extract of this plant shows a significant increase in the gut motility. Also, it acts as a good opiate analgesic for the tree and also in the treatment of rheumatism, insomnia, palsy, etc. Uh, can I move on to the next slide, please? The main aim of my study is to determine the antimicrobial assay and cytotoxicity of this plant, Central Asiatica, assisted by silver nanoparticles, and to produce a formation and to produce the product of a mouthwash. Next slide, please. Then, materials and methods. The Central Asiatica leaves are collected, dried, and powdered. 0.5 grams of this powder is measured and taken, and 50 ml of distilled water is added to it and place an outward shaker and heat at 60 degrees Celsius for seven minutes and then filtered. Now, since this is of silver nanoparticles, the audience and the jury members may have a doubt that why I took silver nanoparticles as a choice. Because silver nanoparticles has a good antibacterial effect, act as causes the disruption of the silver of the bacteria and other microorganisms, and it has a productive effect then compared to the other nanoparticles such as titanium, copper, and gold. Now, 90 ml of the distilled 90 ml distilled water is added to 10 ml of central Asiatica extract, and 0.61 gram 16 grams of silver nitrate is taken and added. Then, place in arbitrary shaker for 150 rpm. Then, double B, then for uh, we have prepared the silver nanoparticles. Now, we will not know whether the silver nanoparticles are coated in the uh, molecules of the uh, plant extract. For that, we have to do the UV spectrophotometric analysis. For that, the UV spectrometric analysis shows that 475 nanometer, uh, the wavelength nanometer, the silver nanometer is synthesized. Now, after synthesis, the extract is means centrifuge. Now, we have got the product and we have to check for its antimicrobial activity. For this, the silver nanoparticles were taken and measured in the use of a micro dripper. Then, for uh, it was tested on four strangers. Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus mutans, E. coli, and Candida albigens, using a, uh, with the help of a drip irrigation. And for 24 hours incubation, the zone of inhibition was, was calculated. The standard drug used here is chlorhexidine. And for uh, cytotoxic assay, 12 well microplate was clean and readings are marked. Then salt water is added to it. Then 10 brine streams were collected and placed in each well. Now, estimated volume of the central Asiatica extract coated with zero nanoparticles are added with the help of a micro dripper. This setup is kept for 48 hours, and for day one and day two, the number of alive nobles were collected, were observed. Can I move on to the next slide, please? Uh, these are the images of my plant extract and the antimicrobial assay. Next slide, please. Uh, results. From the results, we can say that. This extract has a potential antimicrobial activity. At 25 mule concentration, it shows a good antimicrobial effect against all the organisms and more, uh, more against the Candida albicans species. And at 100 mule concentration, it showed a better antifungal activity when compared to the standard drug. And coming to the next uh, slide, no, no, uh, next uh, assay, cytotoxic assay, this extract has been found to be 
less cytotoxic or non cytotoxic as they have low 5 10 and 25 mole concentrations and as the exposure increases and as the number of um, concentration increases the anopheles are dead next slide please discussion part as we are uh, the experiment clearly demonstrates that the central asiatic based silo nanoparticles scavenge free radicals which could also due to presence of functional groups kills the microorganisms and it can be used effective mouthwash also the cytotoxic assay shows that it can be used as a mouthwash and at a lower concentration it can be used for endodontic treatments now uh, you may all know what is as the significance and use in the field of forensic science next slide please the field of uh, we as a forensic science people forensic odontologists we tend to collect samples these samples are usually contaminated by many of the microorganisms present in the environment these microorganisms tend to uh, disturb the uh, obtained evidences and cause the results will be uh, somewhat uh, disturbed that is the quality of the obtained cell will be uh, manipulated by these microorganisms and the accuracy will be very less so in order to avoid this we, are, we can use this mouthwash product and we can create a contamination free environment also the use of chemicals will also lead to the destruction of the obtained evidences and also this my mouthwashes is also uh, acts as a protective agent for the people who handle the all the evidences next slide please from the conclusion uh, from the above experience clearly that ag and with the silver nanoparticles mediated central acid extract shows a less cytotoxic and it can be used a very antioxidant antimicrobial drug at lower concentrations and hence get me for the form it in the form of anti inflammatory gels and also it can be tested on even microorganisms and also for uh, without damaging the forensic evidence can obtain the evidences also there's a technique invented by dr uh, antonio lu for uh, it is like obtaining the uh, genomic dna from the buccal cells using mouthwashes in that uh, experiment she clearly says that we can be able to obtain genomic dna from the buccal cells present in the mouth but with the use of chemicals it causes very uh, destruction of the dna so this can be used as a mouthwash and it can be used as another next attempt for obtaining the gene, gene genome and thank you